my guest is uh, mona sashital president of my family services good morning mona welcome to geeta anjali good morning subhash ji thank you so much we sincerely appreciate you giving us this opportunity okay. to speak to your listeners and tell them about my family services you have been on geeta anjali before and we have talked extensively about my family services but for the benefit of uh, those listeners who may be new in the area uh, let's briefly cover what is my family services how long has it been active locally how many total cases they have handled and what is the average case load per year my family services is a non-profit volunteer based organization serving the south asian community that is in need it was founded in 1986 we are the only organization that offers services to south asian community regardless of where they come from religion as well as nationality in the last 30 years or more we have helped more than 1000 cases last year our case load was about 120 cases uh, we spent over 86000 dollars in uh, direct assistance and our case workers spent countless hours helping these clients that's very impressive indeed and the support that you provide is in many different forms uh, as i understand it includes uh, counseling legal immigration and on and on and on right yeah uh, basically uh, whoever knocks on our door we never turn them away all our counseling services which are culturally appropriate by our professionally trained counselors are free of charge but in addition depending on case by case assessment of individual clients we also offer the financial assistance the legal assistance as well do the number of cases go down as the local economy and job situation gets better the local economy is much better today than it was 7 or 8 years ago is the need for support as high today as it was a few years ago well uh, the economy um, doesn't really affect us that much because this is a behavioral problem so we have seen that there is a fluctuation in the number of calls that we receive but the fluctuation if it goes up or down is basically because of the outreach that we have done now more people know that organizations such as ours exist so as a result now we are getting more calls the budget that is required to run my family services what is the source of revenue for that budget what portion of that total revenue comes from the annual fundraiser and why is the the event on the 25th of april so important well unfortunately um, even though we have existed since 1986 we have solely dependent on the fundraisers and the donations that we receive from the community we try to keep our administrative cost to the minimum and and that is possible only because of the dedicated volunteers and the board members that's how we have managed to survive uh, we try to raise at least half of our operating budget during this annual fundraiser we have only two fundraisers but this is our major fundraiser and we try to raise half of our operating budget during this fundraiser to reiterate you do not have any regularly available grants from either the state or the federal government you totally rely on donations from the community and therefore it is incumbent upon the local south asian community to donate to my family services so that we can provide support to our brothers and sisters from south asia so you have an annual fundraising event and entertainment event coming up on the 25th of april please tell our listeners a little bit about this event we are very excited about this upcoming event on april 25th we are calling it live love laugh it's going to be a memorable event in, and includes old and new bollywood hits 
that will be liked by all ages of people. So we are going to have two huge screens for the visual display uh, during the show. This program is produced and directed by none other than Mr. Narendra Seth, who doesn't require any introduction in Michigan. Everybody knows of his uh, program quality. And we also have included several nationally and internationally acclaimed singers and musicians in this program. It's going to be a very, very exciting and entertaining program. And I urge everybody to come and join us. And Subhash uh, ji mentioned about how important it is for the local community to support our organization. As we mentioned, we are trying to get federal and state government grants, but uh, we so far have not received any. And therefore, we solely are dependent on the funds raised during this fundraiser and the community donations. Thanks for elaborating on that point. I always look forward to concerts that are directed by Narendra Shet. Uh, when he is involved, when he is spearheading the effort, you know you're going to get 100% value for the money you spend. In this case, it's a charitable cause, so getting return for your investment is not a big consideration, but that's frosting on the cake. Uh, to be able to support your local community and get entertained in this wonderful way. What are the names of the singers? With Narendra Shade's concerts, the singers are, he tries to bring variety by changing the singers every year. What are the names of this year's performers? We have two male singers and two female singers. The female singers are, of course, Rujita Joshi. That is our um, our own Rujita Joshi, the local talent. And I think most of us also know about Amol Kanapurkar. We are also getting Forum Shah, who is coming from New York. And last but not least, Imran Ali, who is the finalist of the India-Pakistan Surakshetra competition. And he will be performing during this event. So there will be a lot of uh, old and new songs. There will be duets. There will be solos. So it will be a really a good show, an entertaining show for everybody. All four singers are outstanding. Rujuta and Amol are well known to our local audience. The other two names you mentioned, they are excellent singers too and they have professional recordings to their credit as well. What are the logistics of this program? When will it start? Is there a break for dinner? Where is it? And so on. It's going to be on Saturday, April 25th at Seaholm High School. The social hour starts at 5.30. The doors will open at 6.30. Uh, there's going to be food available for purchase during that time between 5.30 and 6.30. The program will start sharp at 7 o'clock. We want to be on time, promptly start at 7 o'clock. So the listeners, please make a note to be there in time and take your seats in the auditorium. The food will be also available for purchase during the intermission around 8.30. Again, food will be available for the for your road. If you want to buy some food to take home, there will be food available again at the end of the program around 10.30. My Family Services is past practice has been, been to not dwell for a very long time on the fundraising aspect. The fundraising is done quietly. Is that still going to be the case this year? It still will be the case, but as uh, you also know that um, we will have a pledge drive in which so we will talk very briefly about the money that we need and we will also recognize some of our big donors who will be in the audience. But I do want to mention that those who are coming there strictly for entertainment to enjoy music, their entertainment will not be disrupted for too long with the fundraising effort, right? We are, we are being very cautious not to overdo the pledge as well as the speeches. We are trying to keep it to the minimum and give the program content the maximum time for the, the music itself. Well, with that statement, I think you just sold 100 more tickets. 
I am really looking forward to this event on the 25th of April. Once again, can you please tell our listeners why they need to show up in large numbers and support the My Family Services fundraising drive on the 25th of April? And if uh, due to a conflict they are unable to attend on that date, can they just mail in their donations? As I stated earlier, this is our major uh, fundraiser. This is when we try to raise the maximum amount of money uh, to help help our uh, clients and we ask the community to give the money and we spend it right here within this community right here within our community to help our friends our brothers and sisters to build a stronger community so we do not have any chapters anywhere in the united states we do not have an umbrella organization in anywhere in the world we are ourselves raising this money and trying to survive ourselves to help the community so if you have a conflict to go to other events you can always make a donation go online to www.maifs.org you will find our address there as well or you can purchase your tickets the tickets are going fast uh, they are $200 $100 $50 and $25 the $25 tickets are uh, open seating um, if you want reserved seating please purchase tickets of $150 or $200 most of the workers within my family services are indeed voluntary workers they are working very hard to make this event a big success and i want to urge all listeners to support my family services show up at this concert if for some reason you are unable to then please mail in your donation but your support is needed and my family services is doing the needful to support our community congratulations to you and i wish you all the best for the 25th of april thank you uh, we hope to see most of our listeners at the uh, live love laugh, laugh. and laugh concert on the 25th of april at Seahome High School. Thank you for coming over on our radio show and talking about your event.